A lot of the issues we're experiencing has to do with not only having a very thin pool of new candidates, but also the threat of all these other larger companies coming in and grabbing our experienced folks. So it's kind of uh, combined for a real challenging hiring environment. Yeah, I would say the landscape for attracting talent has changed significantly, especially since COVID. And um, so what we're experiencing now, all of the traditional methods for uh, acquiring talent typically is uh, pretty unsuccessful. So we don't see the same number of applicants. So we've had to get a lot more creative, uh, start to network uh, with programs such as AJAC and uh, Impact Washington and some of the other uh, schools in the area looking for more early career talent and begin to start growing our own. And so, um, yeah, we, we need to adapt to the changing environment. I've had the opportunity to meet with Bree and, and Aaron. In fact, we worked with them prior to COVID as well. And so we did have some success with some candidates prior to. And so when we reached back out to them, sharing with them our challenges, uh, they, they both uh, really understood what was happening uh, in the area and with employers. And uh, that connection uh, and, and uh, you know, seeing how, how engaged they were made coming to this attractive. So uh, I know that spending my time here would be well worth it, uh, spending time with others in the market that are ex experiencing the same thing that my company is. Uh, it, it just made for a valuable morning. What's worked really well when addressing the labor shortages is partnering with organizations like an Ajax to come at the problem from an innovative position or a collaborative position and, and truly address the uh, not just the shortage of uh, candidates, but also thinking about providing an opportunity for the, for the youth or anyone looking to transition their career and looking at the positive side and saying, hey, there's a huge pool of the population that we can serve by training or educating on uh, aerospace manufacturing or just any type of manufacturing, really. Well, some of it is uh, confirming what, what we're seeing. It's not just you know one business facing uh, some of the challenges in the market. But uh, I think um, learning feedback from the students in this program and for early career individuals, uh, getting some of the feedback about what they expect uh, as early career employees was valuable. So you know, um, talking to them about career paths and job ladders. Um, you know, that was pretty insightful. Um, I think I want to spend more time, you know, looking into some of those things that we can do. We had been talking about, you know, other types of means for retention. And so the, the various companies shared uh, methods that they're using for retention. I think that was valuable to have that around the room discussion.